Let's open the Terror Prime Web Quest Locker. Back to the Terra Prime Weapons Locker. Today we're going to be looking at the Genesis Custom Sabers Bat Axe. This is the first production curved hilt saber on the market. Um, very popular with the crews um, here at Terra Prime. Um, well, here it is. Uh, I got this uh, shortly after it was released. Uh, Rob did it up in a custom color for me. I believe he has been offering that as well. This is kind of a bronze type of thing. Um, I've been using it for about six months. Um, had to repair the uh, speaker in the pommel, but that was about it. <clears throat> um, it has the new Crystal Shard 2, which is a uh, actually two-channel uh, sound card, so it's got two different two different sound fonts on it. Let's see which one this one is here. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so now I can't remember exactly which fonts are in each one. I do know that the uh, second font is Korriban, so that's, I think that's probably the hero font. And this is Korriban. So, good sensitivity, um, all of that, crystal shard, very nice and loud, get into it here a little bit more when we put the blade in, um, that. So, features of the, of the bad axe here are not only this curve right here, but it comes standard with a button here, I replaced this one with a uh, metal one that comes with the standard plastic. Uh, one like on the Ascend. Um, we've been using it in dueling and all of that kind of thing. But uh, this part right here, not intended to be removable. Um, I believe you avoid the warranty. The charge point right there. Good recess button right in there. Uh, here's the aux button. Now it's interesting, the aux button is in a nice place for that. Unfortunately, this button is set so far down here, you kind of have to move your hand to get both of them in a nice comfortable thing. Uh, you can kind of reach up, up like that, and then bring it down like that. But, uh, it would have been nice to have these two closer together so that in a single grip we could we could get that. But a uh, minor problem. Um, so obviously a very handsome handsome saber looks good on the belt. Good styling, nice nice kind of shroud going there. <clears throat> if we go there, it's of course a little dinged up as all of my things tend to get rather quickly. Um, I have been using it primarily with a 24 inch blade um, to kind of replicate a, a saber or a short, you know, short blade. So let's take a look at the red as it looks there. Very nice and bright, good color. Nice bright white flash. Good, the sun's coming out for us. So. Good lock up. All good and customizable. Let's take a look at the hero. As you can see, I have to kind of move my hand up to switch the fonts and then turn it on there. And that's one of the... there. Good. Now, the curvedness of it, 
most of this saber is actually straight, so I have absolutely no kind of problem wielding it. It's longer than I expected. <clears throat> so it's a longer hilt. It's if I compare it to initiate here. It's quite a bit longer. It's about as long as an ascend or whatever. This large pommel, very nice. Um, it feels very, very good. But the curve, at least for me, makes it very difficult to use this two-handed. Um, and the length kind of makes it just a tad hard to use one-handed. Um, obviously, people Nothing is really, really preventative here. It's just a matter of tiny little preferences here and there. I, of course, am not a huge one, as everybody knows, been a huge fan of the uh, curved hilt, um, just to have it curved. Holding it right here feels very, very nice, um, kind of an epistolish grip, right? Holding it up here feels pretty nice. Um, holding it kind of like this is, is, is a little bit weird. A little bit wonky. Um, so, I've been using it primarily one-handed with a very, very short blade in it. This, this blade right here. Um, other people can be, be using it longer. Uh, the pommel is such that it will counterbalance pretty, pretty well, but since it is curved, it does make it a little bit wonky. Um, just, just to keep, uh, keep things in perspective there. Um, but, Overall, uh, all of the features, the dual ability, all of that, top notch, of course, um, from Genesis Custom Sabers. Uh, so this is kind of like a like an ascend type of thing. So it is affordable. It is affordable to a lot of people. It is kind of in, I would say, the mid range. You know getting up into the one-offs and the customs and stuff like that. But um, if you want something of custom quality, this is a, a definitely a good entry-level saber into that higher higher tier uh, of stuff. So uh, very, very nice. Okay, so uh, we talked about it enough. Why don't we see it in use? Um, thank you for watching. Happy sabering.